it's Ruby Roo here. I'm back and I'm ready to learn with the magic wheel and get myself some brand new knowledge. Are you ready to spin the wheel, Ruby? <gasps> there it is, let's spin. <gasps> Science, that's amazing. Hold on to your hat, Ruby. We're about to do an experiment. Well, I know you don't wear hats, silly goose. It's just a figure of speech. Weren't you listening in the words and letters video? <gasps> okay, what do we have here? Let's see, we have a jar. We have some soap, it looks like, liquid soap. We have food coloring. We have a spoon. We have yeast, whoa, and Hydrogen peroxide? Ruby, what's that? New challenge. Mix the ingredients together to make super foam. <gasps> super foam? Wow, that sounds so incredibly awesome. I can't wait to make it. Okay, let's start with the high, um, hydro, hide and seek peroxide. <laughs> Hydrogen peroxide, that's what I said, Rubit. Okay, let's fill the jar half full with that liquid. And remember, if you have 30% or more of a hydrogen peroxide kind, make sure you get an adult to help you if you're trying this at home. Here we go. Okay, next step. We add food coloring. We don't want it looking plain now. Here we go. What color shall we choose? Red. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. It's not looking very foamy, is it? Well, <gasps> soapy water gets foamy, right, Rubik? So maybe if we add some of this liquid soap, it will turn into super foam. Oh, Rubit, I don't think it's working. What do we do now? Well, Rubit, I guess there's this stuff. Yeast? I guess that couldn't hurt to add it. Here we go. Hmm. Well, there is this spoon, so maybe if we mix it, Now that's some super foam. Okay, so the yeast acted as a catalyst. Catalyst, catalyst, that's right. In other words, it sped up the chemical reaction. That's how we got super foam. Yay, Rubit, I think we did it. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Join us next time for even more fun learning. We can't wait to see you back. Oh, that's right. Maybe after we clean up this mess. It's gonna take a while.